Hi, I'm Nate Moore. This is Excel video 162 in Moore Solution Inc.'s series of videos on Excel. Uh, today what I have is these two columns that both have, if you look what's typed in there, 99201 and 99201. The difference is that Excel typically, when you type in 99201, Excel's thinking, hey, that's 99,201. Where what you may often mean is, no, 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 I want 99201 as a CPT code. In older versions of Excel, you had to use the two formulas and the functions I'm going to show you today. Ever since Excel 2007, the way I typically change these numbers to text is go to the data menu and text to columns. Text to columns is designed to import a bunch of data, but we're going to use it anyway to say, hey, we're going to skip through all those screens, and all I want to do is make these cells text instead of general and we're done. And Excel's going to send an error saying, hey, that looks like a number and it's stored as text. I'm going to ignore that for the time being. And then we're going to do the reverse over here. Again, text to columns, assuming we're going to import data. I can skip through those first two import screens and we're going to do general this time because what general is going to do is it's going to look at 99201 and say, that's 99,201. One of the tricks generally when you see Excel is if you see it left justified, Excel seeing it as text. If it's right justified, Excel is seeing it as a number. But trying to play with left and right justification is not going to change what Excel thinks. What you need to do is if you have 99201 and this is stored as uh, text, you can see because it's left justified and you want to make it a value, it's a very simple function. Give me the cell and we'll convert that text string in that cell to a number. So instead of being 99201 as text, now that's a number. The reverse is a little trickier. If this is a number and you want to go to text, if you look at this function, the challenge is it says give me the value just like the value did, but now it wants to know how do you want to format the text. It's uh, And um, there's some notes in here that say when you, that's where I need to see it. Format text is a number format in a text form from the category box on the number tab in the format cells dialog box. What on earth does that mean? What they're trying to say is when I see this as a text, how do you want to format it? And so if you come here, and go to more number formats and then you come to custom there are a whole bunch of formats in here these are um, what do I do if negative numbers kind of things these are obviously time things here's some day and month things the so percentage formats the again this is going to do some negative numbers kind of thing and this is the way we're going to format it so when you use text you need something like this if you put 0, 0.00 in here like that. And then it says, all right, when I convert it to text, I'm going to make it 99201 and then put the two points after the decimal there. And you can play with this a little bit and kind of make it look whatever you want. Generally, what I'll do is I won't use these because you have to go to this extra step of telling the text how you want it displayed. Value is easier. Value, you can just put the text in and it'll convert it for you. But even easier than this one or text is to just take this go to the data tab and do text to columns. Why do I show you value in text? Well, if you're still in Excel 2003, you need to know these two. If you want more logic in there, what the, when I do this, I can take the whole thing and go text to columns, the whole thing and go text to columns. If you've got some logic in that says, if you see this, then make it text, otherwise make it value, it may come in handy to know these two things. But 99 times out of 100 in Excel 2007, I think text to columns is the way to go. That is the formulas that I wanted to show you in this text drop down. Stay tuned next time. We'll start playing with some of these date and time functions. See you then.